Hello guys, today I'm going to explain you how to uh, set up or connect a DualShock 4 to Raspberry Pi. Uh, what you have to do is uh, first go to Raspberry Pi, uh, then go to Bluetooth option. Now, what you want to do now is to put the DualShock 4 into the uh, pairing mode. You do that by holding the PS button and the option button together for like 3 seconds three or four or five seconds until it starts to flashing rapidly like in this way then you choose the first option you wait a couple of seconds because it's searching now no device found one more time what i found is that it can get kind of annoying it won't find immediately but you have to try a couple of times Eventually, if you play with it uh, long enough, you will you will have to do find it, and it will work. I again, didn't find it. Now you can see I tried two times. It didn't. It wasn't there. You didn't see any wireless controller. But now, if I go to unregister and remove Bluetooth devices, suddenly we can see that it says wireless controller there. So it found already one. What I'm going to do is to um, cancel this. And try one more time. And there it is, wireless controller. So I don't know why it does doing this, but going back forward to the uh, to the second option, eventually it's showing uh, somehow that it's, it's getting there. Now if I look at back to my controller, I see that it's not doing the the pair mode anymore so I'm going to put this one more time it will eventually automatically you turn off by itself if it's not gonna pair and it's again back in the pair mode as you can see so I have to choose one of these two options it says if you choose first option and it doesn't work try the second one so I will choose the first one first and it says successfully registered and connected to the 8417 blah 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 okay and cancel we are done here now I can I, you cannot see it here but I see very 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 uh, low light blue light coming out of my dual shock it means it's paired but it's not gonna work yet because the button configuration configuration is not done yet uh, go to options config input oh, sorry configure input then it says that it's detected one gamepad hold and press one button to configure it okay now well, I'm gonna just hold the X button wireless controller just follow these options I'm gonna do now uh, d-pad up down left right start select a b x y left button right button up, right up, left thumb, right thumb, left arm, down, left, right, up, down, left, right, and okay. Now we've done the configuration and it's already uh, there, it's done. Now you will see that the DualShock is finally connected and is doing everything that you want it to do. So this is very easy way. Uh, as a tip, I can give is just don't give up, keep trying it, and eventually it will. Uh, the Raspberry Pi will find your DualShock 4. Just go into the through the options of Bluetooth, keep playing with it, and eventually it will get you there. Another tip I can give you is when you're starting a ROM, try to not uh, move your DualShock because when you're starting a ROM, the Raspberry Pi gives you option uh, of uh, hit any key or push any key, and will go to the config mode. You don't want to go to config mode, so just rest your uh, controller down on the ground. Select the game and wait till it's started because any slightly movement in DualShock, the, the movement sensors give to the Raspberry Pi, uh, 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 yeah, a key button. Um, uh, it feels that the Raspberry Pi feels like you have pushed something because the 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 sensors have moved, so the the game won't start and go to the config mode. So just rest your controller down and push the button, let the game start and enjoy the game. I hope this will be helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the down button here there. Thank you.